Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today we are taking a look at Ty Dillon's 2022. Uh, let's see, this is Black Rifle Coffee. Yes, just Black Rifle. I don't see Best Pro on here anyway. I don't know, it's going to be Noah's car, so you know. But yes, this is the number 42 Black Rifle Coffee Company. Uh, Chevy, I almost said Chevy Toyota. No, Chevy Camaro. Uh, but you can see we've got Ty Dillon on the box. We've got 2022 season. And then over here, 20 or number 42, Black Rifle Coffee, 2022 Camaro for Ty Dillon. And then, uh, yeah, box art, all the same. So nothing to see there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the car because, honestly, not a bad car at all. I really like it. You can see here on the left side, we've got our number 42. we got Black Rifle Coffee Company. You can see we've got kind of a matte green and matte black going on, like a combination between the two. Uh, so definitely has kind of some camo vibes to it. Uh, reminds me a little bit of the Eric Jones Air Force car. But you can see we do have the matte green and matte black kind of mixing together in their designs. We've got a bright red number 42 on the roof. we got T. Dillon across the front and rear windows. Uh, also, we have the ethanol ring on the back. Uh, or around the fuel cell, I should say. Uh, on the front, you can see there's the Black Rifle Coffee Company logo uh, in that circle. And then you can see on the back, we just have Black Rifle Coffee Company. Uh, actually, I will say this one kind of uses the space decently. Um, you know, they don't, they cram the number forward, but you know what? They they use the space, so I can kind of let a little of it go. They, you know, they stretch as big as they can make it. Um, so I can't really complain. Uh, we got our diffuser down there, along with the rest of the stuff underneath the car. Um... Yeah, I can't really tell what the design of the front of the car is. I can see we've got a few lines here. I'm not really sure what the back printing is supposed to be behind uh, the behind the paint scheme where it's kind of having this green and black going back and forth. I'm not sure if there's an underlying design, but it's kind of hard to tell. So, uh, But overall, it, it's a solid paint scheme. I will say, I um, of all the Ty Dillon cars I've seen this year, this one's probably one of my favorites. Um, I think it's just the way the Black Rifle... And the green and black really does kind of mesh nicely. It's it's a good solid looking car. It it doesn't have you know, it doesn't have any parts where it makes you just go like, yeah, don't care for that spot of the car. Like the whole car just has a nice pleasant look to it in my opinion. So, um, you know, it, it's not at the top of my list, but I, I definitely think it's a decent car nonetheless. So I know somebody's been asking for some forty two cars. Uh, so there's the first review of them. And I don't know if you're a Ty Dillon fan, but soon there'll be some 77 cars, I guess, next year. Uh, but anyway, guys, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you want to check them out, check them out at rasdiecast.com. Use the promo code RACECRAZE at checkout to get yourself a discount. But other than that, this has been RACECRAZE. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.